Hey YouTube, welcome back to Baker's Brews, and this is the show where we taste craft beer and we share it with you. So today I'm going to be trying a new beer, and I hope that it's good. And let me know below if you like the reviews. If you like me, if you don't like me, hit that like button. If you don't like me, hit the like button and subscribe and click the alert button. But we're here to help you along with your beer drinking needs. I know people don't want to drink as much as they used to because of Corona. I'm sitting here at home during Corona and in order to get a little bit of a better idea of what you might want to drink, I decided to bring some better beers to you guys and ladies. So let's see what we got. Today we're going to be drinking Crux Fermentation Projects. PCT Porter. As you know, I like to show everybody the can. Uh-oh. Looks like we have a sticker problem. In Japan, they got these stickers on the can, and sometimes it covers up what you want to see. So this beer... Ah. This is a 5.5% alcohol by volume. 30 IBUs, 12 fluid ounce can. Crux Fermentation Project, I've seen these, these beers before. Uh, they're out of Bend, Oregon, in the United States. So my, my friend has a, a brewery and uh, craft beer bar, or I guess you could say shop market type thing. And it's called Beer Cellar Tokyo. And Uzumi-san there has a great selection of, of his own beers, of course, and you can go here in Komai. And he also has a great selection of beers from the States. And Crux is one of the ones we, he kind of carries frequently and regularly, as far as I'm concerned. I believe he went to Oregon to learn how to brew, so I, I think these Oregon breweries are kind of close to his heart. But uh, yeah, so you got this beer here, they got this kind of cardinal direction sign for their logo. We got the PCT Porter. Crux Fermentation Project. An interesting name for a beer company. But uh, yeah, it says a day in and day out porter. Come sundown, we love to put our feet up with a beer in hand. Oh, don't we? These guys are after my heart because I'm about to have a beer. I have a beer in hand. It is, oh, what is it? Come sundown. The sun is going down. It's pretty early though. It's only it's just four o'clock. But this is the house of the rising sun. We're here in Japan and days start early here. Nights, they don't stick around very long. But it's about that time to break this thing open, so let's see what this porter has for us, shall we? Oh, yeah. As you know, my trusty glass. And I'll leave a link. Oh. Wait a minute. You got my attention. What a beautiful color. Oh. Fill it up. Keep forgetting. Let's put these cans so you all can see them. There it is, Crux Fermentation Project. So, a little deal on the, the color, nice and rich. You can see through it. You might be able to see through it too. Yeah, a little bit of see through there. It's a lovely looking porter. I love the head. I've been, I haven't been sniffing these other beers, but this, I like sniffing porters because they're so aromatic. And, uh, mm, it's a beautiful smell. So, cheers everybody. We're gonna see what this tastes like. Mm. That's delicious. This is a very, this is very, very good. For a porter, this is, 
man, the balance on this is, the balance is tremendous. <clears throat> so, you know, if you haven't seen this before, so we have a rating system. And what do we have? We have balance, uh, clarity, uh, overall taste, and purity, which is pure to form. And this, my friends, is super pure to form. This is an excellent porter. This is one of the best porters I've had. It's not, it's a little thicker, which I like, because I, I love stouts. This is great. It's got a little bit of a, a nuttiness to it. And you know, a lot of porters have these tastes like coffee and stuff like that. And I, I kind of don't, I don't get that sense. This is a hard one to describe as far as taste, but it's just a good, smooth tasting porter. And I'm drinking it fast and, whew, man, it's so good. Let me ask you, this is very, very easy to drink. Speaking a little Japanese, I don't know if you Japanese people out there care. I know you English people definitely don't care. Nomiyasui means easy to drink. And this is easy to drink. And this is amazing. Crux Fermentation Project. Way to go. Now, I'm sorry that the video is kind of like, can't decide where to put the brightness, if I get too close, it gets dark. If I go this way, I'm sorry about that. I gotta come up with a better time today to do this because this is a little in-between light situations and I think the camera's just getting confused. Yeah, there I am, super dark. Oh, wait, there I am, super light. Can I make it dark again? If I turn this, oh, if I turn that way, it makes it dark, interesting. If I just turn my head and drink. Mm. Look at that color. Look at that. It's beautiful. Yes, yes, indeed. Yeah, this is excellent beer. I'm glad I'm getting to try it. Thank you, Izumi san and Beer Cellar Tokyo for keeping these in stock. Uh, I will be back to try some other Crux for sure. Crux Fermentation Project, I'll put the link below. I'll put the link to the Beer Cellar Tokyo below. And if you have any comments or something you'd like to add to this, uh, let me know. If you think that the rating is gonna be bad, which is gonna come up just, just in a little bit. If you think the rating is off, leave a comment below. And if you like the video and you want me to try something specific, hit that like button, subscribe, send me a comment, and I'll drink what you want me to drink. Well. Almost. The PCT Porter rates on balance 4.25, clarity 4, overall taste 4.25, purity 4.25. Thank you guys for checking out the channel. Crooks PCT Porter, check it out. Get it at your local store if you can. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Go dark. Go really dark. Let's make it dark. Can I make it super dark? Oh, no. <laughs> see you next time.